Welcome to another exciting episode of Cars with Big Boy Trev. I am Big Boy Trev. My name is Mirigi. And I know you've been asking, when are you going to bring cars that are available for the masses, for the grey import people who love these cars? Today on Cars with Big Boy Trev, it's all about compact executive saloons available in the grey import. And the first car that we're doing is... The Volvo S60. But first things first, let's check out the highlights of today's show. This week on Cars with Big Boy Trev, we review Volvo's compact executive saloon, the Volvo S60 T6 all drive Polestar. We analyze its cabin comfort, innovative technologies, engine performance, fuel efficiency, and of course, give its value for money proposition against its rivals, the Audi A4, BMW 3 Series, and the Mercedes C Class. Catch this and much, much more on your Cars with Big Boy Trev every Sunday at 6 30 pm only on KTN Home. Now, the compact executive saloon category has been dominated by three brands. Mercedes-Benz C-Class, Audi A4, and the BMW 3 Series. What if you're looking for something different? You probably think, I want to try the Brits, so the Jaguar XC comes to mind. But what if you want that giant car we keep on talking about on Kazi Zibu Trev? Perhaps it is time for you to consider the Volvo S60 courtesy of the Swedish manufacturer Volvo. Now, this is a first. We're doing this great import review doing executive vehicles and I can tell you we have something for everyone and today on Castle Big Boy Trev it's all about the S60. Where do we start? We start with the style and I can tell you for a fact if you look at the contemporary Swedish design IKEA you can see it right here on the Volvo S60. Quadratic grille with a big Volvo badge that has been available for so many years now you can see it is emblazoned on the grille and the grille is not only plastic it's got some chrome exits slated on the grille just to ensure that this car gives that premium look and feel. Look at the lower lip of the bumper as well, color coded to correspond with the side mirrors again. Volvo taking a keen eye in as far as design is concerned. Not overly done, but you can see they've actually put a lot of effort in designing such a vehicle. Now, as you can see, the quadratic headlamps, they're actually by Xenon, so you're able to illuminate the road quite easily. And of course, it has that uh, traffic anti-glare system that deems the right side of the lamp to ensure that you don't dazzle the oncoming traffic. Something that Volvo think about it all the time, trying to ensure that people are safe, be it day or night. Now let's move to the side profile as you can see. Again, typical Volvo design, you can see the bulges. The fender is bulging. This denotes athleticism of the car. This is an inline six, plenty of power, 300 horsepower. If you need a car that looks very butch, very powerful, and this is a particular car. Even as you can see, the bonnet and the bumper corresponds with this bold design just to give that car that Janice Equa we keep on talking about. Now, as you can see from the passenger section again, because this is a premium brand and a premium vehicle, you do have this chrome except that runs across the window sills all the way around, denoting again style, which is important. It's Swedish and Swedish know how to make stylish stuff. Now, the front and the rear door, as you can see, the creases are just very subtle but makes a lot of sense. This bold crease that runs along from the fender all the way to the lower hip line, all the way to the back, again, denotes power. And then the coupe sort of design again, they all match to flow at the end, creating flowing symmetry that Volvo have employed on their designs for many years. I remember seeing this design on the S80 in the late 90s, and I can tell you, I've been a big fan of Volvo, and that has not changed my perception of Volvo. Now, let's move to the back and see what the design phase is all about again because of this flowing design this cooper like design again there's plenty of space in the boot and again this creates some aerodynamicism on this particular car the drag coefficient of this particular car is 0 0.28 one of the sleekest in this particular segment and it allows this car to be very efficient especially when it's slicing through the wind and of course has less wind resistance that people crave for if you're looking for performance your car has to be aerodynamic not a brick now as you can see, a gentle lip that denotes here again a spoiler, again denotes that this is a performance derivative of this particular car. And of course, as you can see, you do have this L-type design of the rear tail lamps with the signature LEDs. They are the first to introduce LEDs on tail lamps, so Volvo have been ahead of their game for so many years. As you can see, the big Volvo name and the badge on the rear panel, and of course, the T6 six-cylinder turbo all-wheel drive and it's actually tuned by Polestar which is the performance arm of Volvo. Now at the back and at the rear part, the bottom part is where you see that power. When you look at the front of this particular car you can tell that 
this is a powerful vehicle. Now if you look at the lower part of this particular vehicle, you can see the dual exhaust, the rectangular design, the most power and performance that you're going to test out later on this particular variant of the S60. But the question still remains, does it have that Jean de Sequoia, that design theme, does it translate to the inside? We're going to jump in and see what the Volvo S60 is all about. So guys, you've seen the elegant design of this Volvo S60 T6 R all-wheel drive, 300 horsepower, and you've seen how subtle the Swedish have designed this particular vehicle. A matter's different inside. Let's step inside and have a look at the cabin of this premium Volvo S60. Now, as you know, this particular S60 plays in the premium entry-level category vehicles such as the Mercedes C-Class, Audi A4, Jaguar XE, and of course the BMW 3 Series. So what makes it different than the rest of the Germans and the British? Well, it's a Swedish design, the Swedish touch. We all know IKEA. For those who don't know IKEA, it's a department store that sells very unique uh, furniture products that are Swedish design. They're known to have contemporary styling and that contemporary styling has been translated into the cabin design. So now let's take a look at the dashboard of this particular Volvo S60 and I can tell it's got that Ford cab design which the dashboard is placed further away to create an illusion of space and airiness because this is a premium vehicle so definitely space is the name of the game. Now obviously Volvo have employed soft touch plastic on the top actually very soft and of course you do have the highlight of the center console which is this seven and a half inch screen that Mr. Muregi will talk about it basically houses the navigation, radio, climate control and quite a number of functionalities that you're able to access using this particular system and the toggles on the right hand side of the steering wheel. Now that allows you to see quite a number of things, play music and of course you know use satellite navigation whenever possible. Now right below the multimedia interface system is this IKEA design style that swishes it all the way down and this is the center part of the console and I can tell you it looks amazing. First let's start with the stainless steel exit that runs across this particular panel and then you do you do have this for mica or wood grain finish which is lovely to look at and lovely to touch and of course you do have this interface it's it's still a tactile interface where you have the radio navigation media with standard buttons and of course they have designed it in such a way to you know prevent that look of clutter so you, you do have two dials so the top dials actually control the audio system on the right hand side you do have many that control now and toggle through the different settings of the multimedia information system that comes as standard in this Volvo S60. In between, you do have you know, telephone buttons. You can actually dial your number and of course scroll through the different settings of that particular system. And below it, you do have the climate control. It's a bit cluttered, but Volvo have tried to put it in a way that it still looks very stylish, very modern, very different from what probably you'd find in an Audi or a BMW or a traditional Mercedes Benz. Now this console swoops all the way down and connects with the gearbox console. And of course, you do have the traditional gate shift with Tiptronic functionality, which you're going to explore the full potential of that, you know, inline six turbocharged engine that we do love here on Cars with Big Boy Trev. Now, this being a vehicle of practicality, there's plenty of cabules and spaces. You do have space that reveals when you scroll back and scroll down, you do have space for either your cell phone and two cup holders, and then you have a 12 volt uh, socket to charge your devices as you go along your busy day in the Volvo S60. Of course, you do have, again, plenty of cabules, the spaces over here on the center console you do have space where you can actually hide your valuables away from the prying eyes. Now let's move towards the instrument vehicle. These were the first cars that had a digital cockpit and I can tell you Volvo have been ahead of their game for so many years and of course with this one I can tell you they really changed the game. So obviously in between you do have a full high definition graphical design that actually reads out speed, temperature and of course gives you the details of how much power you're using and of course the changes on the gear shift and then you do have the multi information display that now gives you all the necessary warnings that you need when you're driving the car so from the range of fuel temperature when your service is next and quite a number of things that involves the critical systems of the car now let's talk about the steering wheel as well traditional volvo steering as well three spoke with the big volvo badge emblazoned on the center part on the left hand side on the satellite buttons all the aspects of the cruise control and remember the cruise control of this car not your standard cruise control it's got adaptive cruise control so you're able to select resume set and of course be able to you know match the distances between the car in front of you and you so that you have a safe distance and obviously again you can also switch off blind spot assist and many other of the settings that involves the cruise control system 
Now on the right hand side, anything to do with the multimedia interface, you're able to toggle through the different settings, add volume, skip tracks, and of course toggle through the source. So auxiliary report, USB, MP3, CD, anything you're able to toggle down using this particular setting on the right hand side. And not forgetting you have these devil horns, these paddle shifters that are made of aluminium as well. Again, you're able to you know, uh, you know, change the different settings of the gearbox from sport, comfort and advanced, and still explore the full potential of the inline six that we're gonna test out later on on cars with big boy trend. So let's talk about the seats. I can tell you, I am so comfortable in this car because the way the Volvo designers have put the seats, the lumbar support is amazing and it has three memory settings. So for you, your wife or your driver or your child, whoever it is drives the car, you're able to adjust the seats accordingly electronically and save the settings so that whenever you come in to adjust and you'll know that this is big boy Trev who's driving the car, I'm six foot one, it will adjust itself at the back to ensure that I have the best driving position to enjoy the power and the thrill of the S60 T6 R all wheel drive version. And of course, that is just a quarter of the story. By the way, it still has a sunroof, a panoramic sunroof that opens all the way to reveal light that gets into the cabin. And I can tell you, when it's sunny days in the Volvo S60, I'm telling you, it's going to be so much fun driving this particular vehicle. Now, I've just said a third of what this car can do. It's time for me to hand over the reins to Mr. Mirigi, who's our resident tech expert. He's going to give us a load on about this Volvo premium sound and audio system. And of course, he's going to give us a load on the back seat, the boot, and then we're going to drive this car and give you value for money as to why this is the car for you. Now, when it comes to technology and the Volvo, of course, they have brought their A game with this vehicle. Considering the, the segment that this car plays inside, they had to make sure that they lead on technology. Now, Volvo is known very much for the safety technology that it puts in its cars, and this has not been left behind. As standard, this comes, of course, now with a stereoscopic camera in the front over here, as well as a dedicated sensor that is fixed in the grille of the car for pedestrian detection. So this car will actually notice that there's a cyclist, there's a pedestrian, there's someone cutting across, and it will actually brake the car to make sure that you don't hit that person. So it has automatic or what is called autonomous emergency braking that is powered by both the camera and a sensor in the grill that makes sure that if it notices somebody it will actually break the car now just to make sure that it doesn't take you control completely there's actually a set of lights in the front over here that will flash to warn you before the brakes actually engage so in terms of safety this car is packed with safety technology so not only the passive safety in terms of how they have built the car the side impact protection that volvo is known for the way they have built the passenger cell to make sure that it's safe in the event that you have an accident they have done a lot to make sure that the accident doesn't happen in the first place so i can even talk about what they call bliss in this car that's a blind spot in Information system. So there's actually a, a set of lights just over here on each of the door pillars, the A pillars over here that will flash to let you know that there's a car coming in from the left or from the right when you're changing lanes. This car also has a lane keeping assistant, which actually works in Kenya. We've noticed, but a lot of the roads that when you're driving outside of Kenya actually have uh, outside of Nairobi so far. And even within Nairobi, you look at the Southern Bypass and the like, they have proper lane markings that have been done. And this car, because of the cameras that it has in the top over here, will notice that you're getting out of the lane and will intervene and pull you back into the lane to make sure that you don't hit oncoming traffic. So in terms of technology, this has been set up in a fantastic way to make sure that you're safe when you're on the move. Now moving to this center console over here, we have a seven inch display. It's not a touch screen. You actually have to use this system actually um, to interact with this over here. So you actually use the wheels over here. You can only touch the screen when the car is stopped. You can't touch the screen when the car is in motion. So in addition to that, we have physical hard keys over here. You have to remember, of course, Volvo is from a country that is a lot of winter. So there you have to, every button in this car is very big. It has been built for you to use even when you're wearing gloves. So everything is very nicely set up. Now, again, because this is a car that was built for a wintry market, you actually have a steering wheel heater, which you actually can access over here. In terms of the driving modes of this car, we have to remember this is the T6 top spec model, three liter inline cylinder with 300 horsepower. And you manage that, of course, using this Tiptronic gearbox over here. And in addition to that, we have three settings for the car itself so you can put it in comfort you can put it in sport or you can put in an advanced setting which allows you to of course customize what it is that you want to do in this car 
But we've talked about the power, we've talked about the technology. What about the comfort? Let me jump into the back and show you guys. Coming down to the back of this Volvo, and as you can see, I am sitting in the lap of luxury. All the premium materials in the front of the car extend all the way to the back. So we have this beautiful leather interior, these very nice seats to set, sit inside, of course, ergonomic. They have been set to be very comfortable, very nice place to be sitting in. The rest of the premium materials in the front, of course, you still have this aluminium accents and the wood trim also extended to the back of this vehicle. So it's a very comfortable place to be and it looks and feels incredible. The other thing to note, of course, that the air conditioning vents run all the way to the back over here. They're actually in the B pillar and you can, of course, now uh, direct them up, down, left, right, and as well as that, control the fan speed. In addition to that, this particular system over here has a rear seat information system. So we actually have screens in the, each of the headrests over here as well as speakers where you can plug in your earphones you can plug in a usb you can plug in an sd card and watch anything over here at the back over here on this rear seat information system so it's a lot of fun in the back here in terms of practicality we do of course have a 12 volt socket for charging of course we have settings over here for seat heating because this car has seat heating in both the front and the rear and in addition to that, we have an additional space over here, which you can use as either an armrest, a storage area, or cup holders. Again, in terms of safety, side curtain airbags all the way up till the back over here. And we have isofix points for child seats that are here for the people at the back. And we are not yet done because we've told you how it feels for the people. What about the stuff? Let's check out the boot. Coming around to the back of the Volvo S60, and as you can see, the boot will open to reveal a very wide and very usable space inside here. And I like what they have done. There are tie-down hooks over here. And something that I like is the fact that they have created a luggage divider. So this sits in between to make sure that you don't have stuff moving all over the place. Can imagine if you're getting gas, put the gas cylinder, put this up, and it doesn't roll inside here too much. In addition to that, we have, of course, some hooks, an elastic band, very practical for you to put stuff inside here. Now, under here we have additional space for storage because this does not come with a spare tire. But what these guys have done is they have added over here a tire repair kit and a tire inflator, which is going to use the 12 volt socket that's at the back over here. 12 volt socket at the back obviously is used for things like this. Or you could put a fridge or you could put a small vacuum cleaner, the hand operated ones for washing the car. Lots of stuff that you can do in this vehicle. But it's time for us to take this on the road and see what this all-wheel drive 300 power T6 has to offer. So guys, today on Cars Big Bad Truck is something, something special from Sweden. If you're looking to buy a compact executive saloon that stands out from the rest, when I say the rest, the Audi A4, the Mercedes C-Class, the BMW 3 Series, you're looking for something different. Well, today we're going to give you an option, something special from Sweden, and this is the S60 T6 R-Line all-wheel drive, 300 horsepower. That is the magical number that I am sampling today, and I'm going to give you a lowdown of how it performs. Is it better than the rivals? Is it, you know, more comfortable, more spacious, more safe? We start this review by checking out the performance aspect of this particular Volvo S60 T6 R-Line all-wheel drive. So... Ingredients, the engine, number one, up front you do have a six-cylinder inline turbocharged engine petrol. That produces 300 horsepower or 224 kilowatts and 441 newton meters of torque that is sent to the four wheels courtesy of an eight-speed ZF gearbox that is mapped to ensure that you have absolute thrill. So if I decide to literally put my foot down like this, <laughs> it pulls and pulls effortlessly to reveal the amount of power that's available on tap. Now, I can tell you it accelerates from 0 to 100 in 5.9 seconds before reaching a top speed of 155 miles an hour or 250 kilometers an hour. Again, that is good performance. Now, the ZF gearbox also allows you to explore the full potential of the engine, returning a fuel economy figure of 9.9 .9 liters per 100 kilometers. That is, if you have a heavy foot like me, you can do much better than that. Of course, depending on the weight of the car, what you're carrying, altitude, and so many other things. Now, it's based on the Volvo chassis that was there in the S80 era, before the Ford era. One thing that you don't know about uh, Volvo, it was bought by a Ford in 2001, 
and it formed part of the premier automobile group which was the umbrella name for all the premium vehicles that Ford owned then. So Volvo, Jaguar, Land Rover, Aston Martin all part and parcel of this premier automotive group. And when Ford decided to sell these particular cars in 2007, Volvo now returned back to their old heritage and now built the chassis based on the previous S80, which was an amazing vehicle. Scalable architecture, rigid and tough, and of course, you know it has safety components in it. Now, obviously, when it comes to driving, it feels very, very sharp. So up front, you do have um, double wishbone, the standard at the back. You do have multi-link rear suspension that allows this car to be planted at any given time. On this higher spec, you also have adaptive suspension. The shock absorbers have magnetite, basically using iron fillings to ensure that the vehicle remains stiff on sport mode. Speaking of safety, Volvo are renowned for safety for many, many years. And I can tell you they have not left the S60 behind because it has a raft of technologies to prevent accidents from happening to you or to mitigate the impact away from the passenger cell. So we start with the active components of safety. So you have the ESP, which is the umbrella system that controls the anti-lock braking system, the brake assist, electronic brake force distribution, and many other systems. And of course, you do have also active radar guidance. So you do have adaptive cruise control, blind spot assist, rear cross traffic alert, all those to ensure that you do not get entangled in an accident. But in case all hell breaks loose, then you can rely on the five-star passenger safety rating of this particular cabin. SIPS, side impact protection system that Volvo patented close to 25 years ago. And now you can rely on the airbags, which are six in number. And of course, the safety belt is the most critical aspect. And kids at the back also do have uh, anchor points to anchor their seats safely so that they can be, you know, chauffeured safely in the Volvo S60. Now, it's time for us to move to value for money. Does this car have what it takes to beat the German 3, Mercedes C-Class, Audi A4, BMW 3 Series? Would you pick this over them? Let's find out. So guys, you've seen what contemporary CG style is all about. Substance, quality, and of course, you have the performance to boot, courtesy of the six-cylinder inline turbocharged 300 horses. Mr. Murigi, your highlight of this particular S66. You've just mentioned it is that engine, as in 300 horsepower. You don't get 300 horsepower on a used car unless you're talking about something like uh, a Range Rover, yes. something big like that. The only saloons or even cars in this space that have 300 horsepower are the Volkswagen Golf Rs that you're seeing guys putting in nowadays. So this power and that refinement with the great interior and of course all of the safety tech that Volvo is known for makes for a great package. Now, how much does this car retail in the market? Well, because we're talking about this specific unit, the T6, that's being sold by this specific used car dealer, this is being sold for 2.3 million shillings, which is a great price. Wow, and that's so bad. And what are the rivals in this segment? Well, of course, now we'd be looking at, a, like you said, compact executive vehicles. We are looking at the Audi A4. We are looking at a BMW 3 Series. And, of course, we cannot talk about this segment without mentioning the Mercedes-Benz C-Class. And I know you're wondering, where will we get parts to service this Volvo? Those are the questions that most grey import users would ask. Well, there's a dealer right here in Kenya, a Volvo dealer, Amazon, and they're here. So if you need to service your vehicle, you're able to take it to them and they'll service the car. However, because of the digital economy, you can embrace Alibaba, uh, Amazon and everything, you can order these parts directly online, be able to get service kits from as low as 10,000 shillings and brought it into Kenya and you take it to your dealer who knows how to fix a Volvo and they'll fix it for you. Well, thank you so much for joining us on Kazi Big Boy Trev. If you have any questions, comments or queries, don't hesitate to write to us as seen on the social media handles below. And we'll get back to you next week with the feedback. Do you think the S60 is better than the Mercedes C-Class, the BMW 3 Series or the A4? Let us know. But before we leave, how do we catch Kazu Big Boy Trev after the show? This specific episode is going to go live on our YouTube channel right now at 7 p.m. So you can check us out on our YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe. All the reviews from season one, over 80 different episodes are available for your watching. If you've been asking yourself, how come you haven't reviewed the, the C-Class? How come you haven't reviewed the Defender? Just do a search for CBBT and that vehicle and chances are we've already done the review. It's on our YouTube channel. You can also check us out on all our social media handles, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Well, signing out, this is Big Boy Trev. This is Birigi. Drive safe and be safe. <laughs>